I'm going to introduce this guy anyway. I think you probably know who he is. Uh, but one of the best players on the planet, if not the best player on the planet, Albert Pujols. Thanks, Rick. Albert, you've been very clear throughout your career that faith is where it starts and faith is where it ends. So what would you say to these folks here today about how the reality of Jesus Christ in your heart and in your life, how has that been all the difference for you? Well, I mean, I made my best decision in 1999. I didn't grow up like some of this guy in church. I, was, uh, I grew up Catholic. Um, no, no, 1999, I met my beautiful wife. She introduced me pretty much to Christ. We started going to church. And, uh, you know, it wasn't until probably 2001 that uh, I realized that it was more than, than religions, that it was more than going to church. I believe God, God wanted a personal relationship with me. So after 2001, I really, um, you know, having great teammates like Mike Martini, J.D. Drew, a strong Christian, you know, in our ball club that really walked me through, uh, helped me out so much, you know, to stand for Christ. And since till then, you know, it just, uh, it doesn't matter what we do in the field uh, or off the field, you know. At the end of the day, obviously, we, we want to do good for our team and for our fans that come here and support us. But at the end of the day, it's about what can we do for Christ. And, uh, you know, having these guys every day, every Tuesday, uh, studying and, and just growing, you know, uh, to us, that's the most important thing. And, uh, you know, one thing that we all have in common besides the talent that God has given us is that, you know, that no matter what happened in the field and off the field, at the end, it's about honoring God and uh, do everything we can for Him. And I want to ask you a little more about the importance of this fellowship you're talking about, having teammates that you can go through this journey with where you guys are sharing the ups and the downs and the, you know, what God is speaking to you through his word and, and through prayer and through this fellowship, through this connection. Uh, how important are your teammates as you go through this journey? It is really important because uh, I believe, uh, yes, God has given us the talent to play the game and you can call it this a real job, but I believe a real job is to share with uh, your teammates, with fans, because at the end of the day, you know, we need to save uh, life for Christ. Uh, and that's what we do. We encourage each other, and we know that even though we're getting a paycheck through the Cardinals, our job is to stay strong for Christ and to share, you know, with others. And I believe that's our true job, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, uh, you, you want to make sure that your teammates or whoever is around you, you grab that opportunity, you know, to share with them because you don't know, tomorrow is no guarantee to us. The next five minutes is no guarantee to us, you know. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what we do in the field, you know. It's the, to stay strong for Christ and share as much as we can with people that we come. And that's something that every time I pray, I just ask God, you know, to wh whoever I come in contact that day, they give me an opportunity to encourage them. And that's what I want to give I say to you guys, I encourage you guys that if you haven't made that decision yet, it's not too late, you know. There's no tomorrow guarantees to us, but Christ, just pray about it. If you're not ready, just give Christ the opportunity like some of these guys did, like myself in 1999. And, uh, you know, I believe he's going to transform your life. So, Well said, Albert. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks, Poppy. <laughs>